not in Mombasa. I am seated in a studio in Nairobi. <laughs> and I just arrived from the village yesterday. Are you going to and Mombasa? And the reason is simple. Yeah. We had an undertaking from the CES Treasury from the 9th of December, just a few days before we went out for recess, that every <coughs> week he was going to deposit to the CDF board account two yeah. billion shillings every week. This is the seventh week which therefore should be having like 14 billion shillings in that account, translating to about 55 million per constituency. 55 million. Now, my budget for bursary alone in my constituency is 60 million, meaning everybody who applies gets, and I usually get about 15,000 applicants from high school, tertiary to universities. Up to now, the money that has so far been sent out of 14 billion is only 2 billion shillings. Mm -hmm. Meaning therefore that the CES walked back very deliberately so on the promise that he made to members of parliament. And now they are telling us to go to Mombasa for an induction. And as we swim in the evening, we talk about nothing. I say, I can't do that. Let me mourn with the people that I represent. Some of them are still stuck in the villages up to now, whereas schools were reopened on Monday. So if they want to put us through some charade, a process that is not beneficial to the people that we represent, I ignore. So I'm not going to Mombasa. I want to be with the people that I represent. And if this is my last word, because I know your time yeah. is really running out, yes. uh, I did say that even as we demonstrate, because demonstration we shall, <laughs> we need police escort okay. so that there is adequate protection of Trevor Mbija's new Mercedes Benz. <laughs> that is the work of the police. That's not the work of, of, uh, of demonstrators. Then the JLAC. He has said, my friend Kagusha has said, JLAC will at the end of the day sanitize President Ruto's uh, nominees uh, into IBC. You know, and that is what exactly what they do. They just sanitize. We had very credible information touching on some of the CSS who are now serving uh, Ruto's uh, cabinet. And we said these are very serious matters of law in a court of law, and therefore their appointment can be stopped until such a time that they are cleared. You know that if any matter touches on any person within the executive, you are, uh, uh, you, you are expected to step aside. Pending investigations, remember you've not been penalized, but you have to step aside, including governors. But here are people whose cases are before a court of law and were taken through departmental committees in parliament. And by the way, those departmental committees only process what the president wants. And that is how some of these CSAs are in office up to now. So telling me that JLAC will look at the integrity of this individual, that's hogwash. We, they will shepherd, process, and appoint people who will be nominated by Ruto. Uh, the US elections of 2020, are still under review to date. You remember, loads of evidence were gotten from former President Trump's home, and they are now being processed by Department of Justice so that they can take him to a court of law. This is an election that happened in 2020. But somebody is telling me that an election that was stolen in August last year should not be looked into. I mean, this is how Africa has gotten everything wrong. Okay. 2020 election is being scrutinized. 2022, I'm being told, no, 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 that's too long ago. You could have gone to Supreme Court. Move ahead. Ahead where? <laughs> we must get everything correct. <laughs> if IEBC is efficient, then what's the work of agents? Yeah. Because we are told election is as good as agents. Why should I have agents when I have IBC to control and do the election? I should just be at home waiting for my announcement. Not about agent. Agent means that IBC is out to be compromised the way they did uh, compromise Chebukati and company at Bomas of Kenya, and that they are not going to do a good work. Okay. So you are told, go and have people looking at how the electoral process is happening. Okay. I mean, what a shock. <laughs> Gabriel. Very quickly.